You are probably aware that you can get bacterial infections from eating certain foods. However, did you know that foodborne infections can cause miscarriage? It's true. This video is a guide to help you avoid foods that could cause you to have a miscarriage. An important thing to remember here is that it is not the foods themselves that cause miscarriage. Rather, it is bacteria that may be contained in the food that causes an infection in a pregnant person that can cause miscarriage. I am going to list my recommendations based on the type of bacteria. First up is a bacteria called Listeria. When you are pregnant, you are more likely to become infected if exposed to Listeria bacteria. In fact, pregnant women are 10 times more likely than other people to get Listeria infection. Foods at high risk of carrying Listeria bacteria are soft and semi-soft cheeses like brie, camembert, ricotta, blue cheese, and feta. Cold meats that you might get at a deli counter or pre-packaged sliced ready-to-eat meats like salami, bologna, ham, or turkey are also at higher risk. It is best to avoid these altogether, but if you must eat cold meats, heat them up to a temperature of 165 degrees first to kill the bacteria. The same goes, by the way, for hot dogs. If you are pregnant, you should never ever consume raw milk. Raw milk is milk that has not been pasteurized. Pasteurization heats milk to a high enough temperature for a long enough time to kill bacteria that can make you sick. Raw milk and products made from it, including cheese, ice cream, and yogurt can contain listeria. Another type of food to avoid is chilled seafood. This means no raw oysters, sashimi, sushi, or smoked fish. Fish that are seared on the outside but uncooked in the middle, like seared tuna, should also be avoided. There are many other examples of foods that have been contaminated by listeria. If you think you might have been exposed, contact your doctor immediately. Symptoms of listeria infection in pregnant women usually start within two weeks of eating contaminated food and typically include fever and flu-like symptoms such as muscle aches and fatigue. Sometimes, listeria infection in pregnant women can be mild. Sometimes, there are no symptoms until you have a miscarriage. Another very common foodborne bacterial infection is salmonella. The salmonella bacteria causes about 1.35 million infections, 26,500 hospitalizations, and 420 deaths in the United States every year. Food is the source for most of these illnesses. Salmonella can be found in a variety of foods, including chicken, beef, pork, eggs, fruits, vegetables, and even processed foods. Foods that are contaminated with salmonella may taste perfectly normal. So how can you prevent a salmonella infection? The CDC recommends a four-point approach, which you can find in detail here. The basics are keep your hands, utensils, and surfaces clean, especially after exposure to raw foods. Keep raw meat, poultry, seafood, and eggs separate from other foods. Cook raw foods adequately and make sure your refrigerator is at 40 degrees or colder. Most people who get ill from salmonella have diarrhea, fever, and stomach cramps. Symptoms usually begin six hours to six days after infection and last four to seven days. Most people recover without specific treatment, and should not take antibiotics. Antibiotics are typically used only to treat people who have severe illness or who are at risk for severe illness. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.